are at uh, IIT Delhi campus today at the 5G workshop which has been organized by the team. And we have with us uh, Mr. N. Seva Selim, Special Secretary, Department of Telecom. So, sir, uh, I believe 5G is the buzzword everywhere in every you know uh, town or any part of the world you could talk about. And India is no in no way you know uh, far behind anybody else. So, my first question uh, is on 5G only. With regard to the 5G ecosystem, which uh, has been currently you know trying to be shaped in uh, India. तो इसका सर जो स्पेक्ट्रम का जो एलोकेशन है इस पर डी ओ टी क्या कर रहा है वट आर द करंट वट इज द करंट स्टेज ऑफ इट फर्स्ट थिंग आई एम हैप्पी दैट यू मैंशन दैट फाइव जी इज नाउ दी हैपनी थिंग नॉट ओनली इन द वर्ल्ड बट ऑल्सो इन इंडिया दिस वॉज नॉट द सीन अबाउट अयर अगो एंड देर फोर इट्स गुड न्यूज दैट नाउ एवरीबडी Uh, is uh, uh, very enthusiastic and uh, positive about it. Mm, secondly, um, it's no longer therefore a buzzword. Okay. It is now a reality. Okay. And uh, uh, that's a good thing to happen. Okay. If it remains just a buzzword, mm -hmm. I don't think we would uh, ever benefit. Okay. But if it, it is now becoming a reality and we are seeing it. Okay. And that's a good thing. Okay. Um, um, it's, a, it's, it's a good thing that uh, because uh, uh, we have got uh, a whole lot of Uh, ecosystem in place. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first time, um, 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 in in my service career at least, mm -hmm. I have not seen such a wonderful cooperation between the stakeholders. Okay. Uh, whether it is the industry, whether it is the academia, whether it is uh, mm, uh, the uh, equipment manufacturers, mm -hmm. or, or uh, the uh, the top uh, policy making levels of the government. Okay. I mean, it was um, a very very serious effort. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm, it was uh, it is something that uh, over the last uh, six months uh, we have met uh, five times. Okay. And uh, uh, that's a great thing to uh, happen. And um, meetings of the um, uh, 5G forum, which uh, uh, mm -hmm. deliberated on it and produced a roadmap, mm -hmm. uh, which you can see in the mm -hmm. uh, DOT website. Mm -hmm. uh, those uh, meetings uh, uh, went on for. Uh, four or five hours at a stretch okay. with people just glued to their seats okay. and uh, that was a serious affair mm -hmm. and uh, with this we have also made some wonderful things and that, that is the question which you are asking. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a road map uh, for 5G spectrum mm -hmm. um, already uh, um, announced in the DOT website. Okay. Um, the uh, We are going through the uh, administrative processes of uh, Uh, seeking uh, formal sanctions mm -hmm. and then acting on that okay. report. Okay. That report very clearly identifies the spectrums which can be immediately available, mm -hmm. the spectrum uh, which requires uh, studies, mm -hmm. and the um, spectrums which requires uh, to be uh, uh, to be researched for future um, mm -hmm. applications. So, uh, a complete roadmap of the spectrum okay. is actually available in respect of 5G for the country. So, what role do you see? You know, these test beds will play in terms of the proliferation of 5G in India. Oh, wow, uh, this this test bed is a uh, is 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 uh, for for the nation. Okay. Ah, that's the we want this. We want startups. We want industry. We want academia. Uh, we want researchers uh, to be on it. Okay. And uh, that's why that's why this whole uh, test bed. Where in which uh, eight institutions have taken the initiative mm -hmm. um, is uh, meant to be networked. Okay. Other institutions are open and welcome, mm -hmm. uh, depending upon whether they have got a use case scenario or a research scenario. Okay. Um, um, other institutions can just uh, uh, link the um, their NKN network to um, uh, these any of the six, and you are uh, into the network, and you can uh, do research. So it's it's an open uh, system. Okay. Um, others are, uh, can contribute with whatever little uh, facilities they have to mm -hmm. enhance the network because mm -hmm. this is not a network which is located, it is placed in one location. Mm -hmm. This network is situated across locations mm -hmm. and uh, pe people can access uh, um, the facilities at all locations mm -hmm. from a place. Uh, so it's not that you need to go to all the locations to okay. access the different components of this thing okay. because it is all based on mm -hmm. uh, you can access it virtually. 
Okay. Yeah. So, uh, pardon my ignorance on this. So, these test beds, is it a multi, is it a single kind of a you know infrastructure uh, facility where the, all the things will be showcased, or will it be multiple bits and pieces where all? It the, is. You know, it is in where we have never we have not duplicated the ecosystem. Uh -huh. um, uh, at all, unless and until uh, a particular uh, equipment would be required at all places. Okay. Apart from that, there is major equipments are not duplicated at all. Okay, mm. I see. So as you rightly said, that uh, that's a very good thought of the government. Yeah, otherwise we will have to have mm. all systems everywhere, right. and that will lead to a suboptimal effort, Absolutely. especially when we can do it virtually. I see. Okay. This is the architecture which mm. the experts okay. have determined, and it is the first time it is happening okay. in this country. I see. So with that thought, my next question leads to uh, the startup ecosystem that you, you know talked about in your previous comment. As startups will are also uh, considered as a big factor in terms of you know ensuring that 5G is uh, you know becomes a reality when it comes to implementation. Yeah. So and 5G by it, for startups we mean innovation as yeah. simple as that. Yeah. So what's your take on this? As to what role do you use these startups playing? See, um, uh, 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 whenever a new technology emerges. Mm -hmm. Uh, new institutions emerge, mm -hmm. and uh, um, a startup is uh, a mechanism mm -hmm. by which these new institutions get created. Mm -hmm. If you are able to nurture them, mm -hmm. we will have much more uh, uh, institutions of the national and international scale mm -hmm. than we have had in the past. Okay, that is the philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, uh, we are very serious about since we are uh, entering 5G ecosystem mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. uh, it is our endeavor. Uh, to ensure that we have institutions, mm -hmm. uh, innovators who work on uh, um, um, what the system has to offer mm -hmm. and create products, create uh, um, 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 uh, algorithms and software and hardware, mm -hmm. uh, whatever uh, it goes to develop IPRs. Okay. And um, uh, so that uh, uh, India as a, as a nation um, emerges um, as a, a, a serious player in the 5G ecosystem development. Okay. Wonderful. <coughs> Again, a question on 5G. When you know uh, 5G will actually uh, be on the ground in terms of implementation, I believe we see you know trained or skilled manpower will be a big, big uh, you know area which needs to be focused around in terms of ensuring that you know you have the right uh, people, the right resources to you know work on this particular technology which is a green field one. So is there any you know strategy of the government in terms of addressing this point or how is it like? First is from our side, mm -hmm. um, this is basically telecom uh, um, uh, issue um, concerned with the subject of electronics and communications. Okay. Um, uh, luckily uh, for us today uh, certain major professors mm -hmm. uh, of the subject are directors of institutions mm -hmm. itself. Okay. That's one of the uh, one of the plus factors as to why your 5G ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, evolved so fast. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, IIT Madras, IIT Hyderabad, Indian Institute of Science, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, IIT Kanpur, mm -hmm. uh, IIT Delhi are all uh, having uh, directors headed by the professors of ENC and communications technology right. of of. Uh, of international stature, mm -hmm. uh, they are heading these institutes, uh -huh. and therefore you can say that we just piggybacked okay. uh, on that, uh, on see. that, and we were, we were able to get them okay. on a on, on a platform to get this done. Okay. Yes, and therefore um, the first thing is that they are aware that these things must form part of the curriculum. Okay. But the good point about this is everything in relation to 5G. Mm -hmm. When you are talking of um, SDNs, mm -hmm. when you are talking of software, uh, that is software defined networks. Or cloud RAM, mm -hmm. or even uh, uh, network splicing, mm -hmm. or even spectrum splicing. They're mm -hmm. all in their uh, beginning stages. Okay. Ah, so it's easy for the institution who are already when when there's a pressure from industry. I mean, these researchers are bound to happen on the ground, okay. and they are bound to continue over a period of time. Okay. So we are actually riding. My impression is that we are also riding the education scale. Wonderful. And we are not. We are unlikely. It's unlikely that. Um, ENC engineers will turn up hmm. not knowing what 5G is. Okay. That's not likely to happen mm -hmm. uh, in major institutions um, and uh, uh, major de major uh, um, um, uh, engineering institutions mm -hmm. in the e e ENC mm -hmm. and the electrical engineering and the computer mm -hmm. engineering space. I see. Wonderful. 
Uh, okay, so you know when you talked about uh, the academia the part. The issue which will come is, hmm. uh, as I see it, is not necessarily on the upper side. Okay. That is the engineering. Uh, uh, what we would require is we would require much more uh, uh, people getting uh, into uh, PhD, into uh, hmm. uh, postgraduate hmm. and doctoral and uh, and uh, research hmm. and postdoctoral hmm. uh, areas hmm. uh, in order to develop that. Uh, uh, that huge cutting edge which mm -hmm. India requires. Okay. It's not at the engineering graduates level. Okay. Uh, that part of that part will be you know, innovation and the startups may address that. Okay. Uh, the business part of it will get mm -hmm. down easier. Mm -hmm. But what we actually require is you know, high grade uh, uh, researchers mm -hmm. uh, developing uh, a cutting edge uh, mm -hmm. uh, technology uh, uh, IPRs on the uh, on this technology mm -hmm. uh, over the next three or four years. Okay. And so I see um, encouraging uh, uh, people uh, in these now. Maybe we, we are now having these specializations as specific areas of interest, like mm -hmm. network function virtualization, mm -hmm. NFVs, mm -hmm. uh, network. I mean, spectrum splicing areas and all artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, cloud run, they are um, uh, they are all being promoted as okay. you know, separate areas. So we require a lot of PhDs, mm -hmm. uh, people getting into re research in these okay. and developing the necessary IPRs. Okay, and any expected number that the second we part is on the, just the opposite side. Okay, at the skilled technicians level, okay. because five G ecosystem is going to turn out a lot of devices, mm -hmm. and India is a is a is is a haven for repairs. Okay. And reuse. Right, right. Don't forget that our reuse concept was criticized. Now mm -hmm. the world has moved towards reuse. Right. We were talking once upon a time, I remember our mm -hmm. generation, mm -hmm. people use and throw was right. so popular. Right. And people who were, were reusing was not required, considered as a fashion. Now it's regarded as a mandatory requirement, Absolutely. reuse. So we, we, it's, it's cultural. Right. And um, one of the things repair does is reuse. Mm -hmm. So I thought that. Um, up, uh, we need to get the lower level mm -hmm. uh, technicians, um, those enterprises on because 5G is all about devices. Mm -hmm. Devices means repairs. Right. Uh, repairs means technicians. Right. Technicians means large level of ground level employment. Okay. And we need to address that. Okay. So besides the IITs and you know IICs of the world, are you also looking at you know collaborating with these uh, professional like DSSEs of the world or you know yeah. any other uh, you know skill uh, based? Certainly, I mean among the sectors skill, skill councils, mm -hmm. uh, telecom sector skill council, you have mm -hmm. uh, definitely made mm -hmm. just made a reference to telecom sector mm -hmm. skill council. Mm -hmm. It's one of the sectors uh, sectors council which is doing too well. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's at the forefront of designing things uh, and uh, um, uh, ensuring that things go on, yes. Okay. Um, um, uh, TSSC, um, uh, as it stands, is a very crucial body for us. Okay. Yeah. So do it we can, expect can, any kind of announcements in future with it? Yeah, they are already working. They are already working behind okay. the scenes. Okay. Um, they are very much uh, in the groove. Okay. There is no doubt about it. Okay. Yeah. You spoke about IPRs, creating IPRs, you know, from these academias. Any expected outcome or any expected numbers that you guys have in mind, no, let's no, say down the line from two years from now or let's say? We should have a, I mean, uh, you, you saw today in the presentation, mm -hmm. I mean, um, we, we, we just have 200 contributions in okay. 5G, okay. out of which 75% have come from 8 years. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, some of our major contributions, out of which the one which led to standard essential patent mm -hmm. were the waveforms mm -hmm. um, uh, and, uh, and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, um, we need to have more um, defining contributions. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's good that we are making contributions, which mm -hmm. we never did earlier. So from, uh, from small numbers to 200 is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Entering into the uh, standards uh, big boys club mm -hmm. is a big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, um, you need to grow up there also. I mean, okay. today they okay. accept you as a small boy, mm -hmm. uh, but tomorrow you need to, you can't remain small, you need to make good contributions to keep our uh, stature okay. uh, and, and, fee and, and, and retain our respects. So that's what we are working on. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty certain, I mean, uh, when you say that we could make such a, uh, a splurge in, um, uh, in, in understanding of uh, um, uh, importance of 5G over uh, the last six to eight months, I'm pretty certain 
uh, down the line at, at actual working levels it should be far higher. Okay, yeah. that was interesting. So this is all about 5G sir, uh, let us move forward from 5G into the, the other aspects of uh, where DOT is focusing currently. Can you throw a little light about um, other areas where DOT is working? Um, uh, see, I'm working, um, uh, one of the things which we have done is uh, uh, we have cleared a lot of all recommendations of try up to March. Okay. We have addressed them. Okay. So that's a any that's any big recommendation which has been uh, recently passed or M to M okay. cloud services. Okay. M to M businesses can start. Okay. M to M and IoT businesses can start. Okay. Uh, because uh, we have cleared uh, um, we have cleared try recommendations mm -hmm. and uh, we are of the we try had suggested. Uh, that certain amendments to licenses mm -hmm. um, conditions are required for the for uh, IoT and M2M businesses mm -hmm. to be done. Mm -hmm. um, our view was that uh, uh, we ag we agreed with Try on the concept, and we mm -hmm. feel that uh, uh, existing licenses permit M2M okay. uh, and IoT services okay. for existing for players. So it's a big uh, thing. So mm -hmm. it, it saves time. It saves it's time. Uh, yeah, we are telling that we agree. But no new license conditions are required. Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing. Okay. Yeah. And how how about uh, what's the status of these things uh, which have been recommended again by TRAI, but primarily on the PDOA model for Wi-Fi and uh, no, in PDO, flight connectivity. PDOA, in PDOA model we have cleared it. Okay. We have uh, the recommendations are being cleared. Mm -hmm. um, the implementation mechanism is being worked out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how about the in-flight uh, in connectivity? In-flight connectivity also, the uh, the rules have been, uh, for the draft rules have been formulated, they are in the final mm -hmm. stages. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. And um, uh, discussions are regular with the um, um, stakeholders. Okay. And I think a lot of the last of the discussions have been completed. It's only the final stages which are left, which are largely procedural, involving consultations, internal consultations as required. To publish any rule. Okay. And uh, how about this policy? Uh, you know, what is the earliest time that uh, this will be implemented and passed by the government? Which one? NDCP. Um, NDCP, uh, we are taking it uh, to the uh, cabinet. That was the hmm. last decision of the TC. Okay. You will hear about it shortly. Okay. Thank you so much for your time.